Hello and welcome. Right, I have set the worker going. Ooh, hang on a minute. That's a little bit odd. That's nowhere near what... <laughs> it really should not be. We've got narrows on, so I'm really not worried. Right, let's go here. That's, I'm sure, more like what I was aiming to do. Right, so now that we need to grab the fence, are we going to win? Oh, what's this cool? We're all right. Really? I think we're going to do it manually that I am not going to risk as destroying any crop. This is, yeah, this is really has, I've got to be honest, freaked me out a bit. I really didn't realise this was happening. Also, there's, there's something wrong. Every, we, we didn't earn any money. I'm sure we didn't overnight. Yeah, when we, it sold all of our products. Um, what did, I saw this on another map on the, um, the Valley of the Old Farm. It, it did the same. So I'm not sure, I can't remember what that was, or whether I, I think I just removed some mods and then it all worked, so I'm probably going to have to look at the log file, we can't go on without, because it's, it's basically lost us our income, I mean, at least I think it has, I'm saying that, because I'm sure that that is the case right now, my screen spot has made me absolutely terrified to go on the grass, yeah, I really it reminds me of obviously one of the old iterations of FS. Really cool. Right, okay, so it's not quite got the edge right. Yeah, you can see it appears to drop, but it doesn't. You, yeah, you've got to get the edge right, so. I need to do a little bit of something to this, that manually alter it slightly. Sometimes it's missing the middle. Right, okay. Let's take that back. Uh, it is actually missing the middle. This is the only thing about this setup. Because if you go too low, then it does the very opposite and it doesn't actually. And of course, you're going to use it as a front loader, so you've got to faff around with it a little bit. That seems to be right. I haven't seen any miss in a while now. We're not dragging in the ground either. That's the only bad thing. Because obviously as you joggle around, the fruit also hits the ground. Although, you could argue the same for this normally. Most are a little bit like that. Yes, yeah, the only thing that's with this type of contraction is the fact that obviously, yeah, this is... Uh, this, 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 Yes, yeah, so this is uh, something where crop, uh, the crop rotation, crop destruction, enhanced crop destruction that actually um, was an unforeseen circumstance, really. Yeah, it's in August, so we've missed the court September, October. We are going to have to do the one thing that I hate doing, because this is our income, or at least should be. Yeah, we're going to have to look in the log file and see what's happening, because something is not right. Yeah, I'm going to send boards actually. I might do that now, whilst the work is actually working. Just got to see what happens here. Uh, why do we need this? Right, is that always going to be built there? Right, we need to switch some lines up. I'm glad we did this. I can't imagine me wanting to have narrows on on every map always with the enhanced crop destruction. Really? I think that's a little bit too much. Okay, so we need to go down here, like that. Now, 
can we switch this on at the front? Yes, it can, it can. That's all right. Right, okay, I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Hello and welcome. Now then, this is a rollback because of a few things that happened and um, totally ruined the thing. We were right in November and I had to roll it back. Well, I made a decision. I was going to just like think, let's just crack on and leave it as it is. Yeah, this has schooled me quite a bit. Uh, I'm not sure if we have placed... Yeah, one thing I did allow, these two items here, they're not on our land and so therefore don't generate. There's nothing wrong with any mods or anything like that. So, what we did before, because I can't, I can't even delete them, I shall show you. If I go to it, it's not on our land, I can click on it, and it just says escape back. It doesn't recognise it as mine, I can't demolish it either. Nor, because it's not on our land, it's not seen as ours. So, we in essence spent 16 grand for absolutely nothing. And I can't even delete them, I can't even hide them either, I shall show you in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that and stick them on our land... That's why we've not been generating any income from that. So it's the, 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 a mechanic issue. And although I say mechanics rule is king, this is sort of not an exception really, but obviously you would never have done that. It's on the very edge of our land. And so therefore, if I show, if I press the H, all we need to do is, yeah, it's not doing anything. That's because it doesn't recognize it as ours because it's not on our land. It's almost like, I do like that by giants. I do, I think it's quite clever. It stops you abusing the rules, but obviously we don't always do it on purpose. Sometimes you need those mods on that allow you to be able to build on. Right, yeah, and that, that keeps on doing that, even though I've tried to make an adjustment. So let's just... Yeah, I was hoping that they were going to give me a little bit of a break so I could chat with you quickly before, like, yeah, we need to do that as well on this... Right, let's just try and get this. Is it? Oh, dear. no, it shouldn't do this. It, the different elevations are playing around. That's the only thing with this type of the front. When it's like this, you're on different elevations. It does play havoc a little bit. So sometimes it scrapes on the floor a little bit more than it should do. Yeah, which is a bit annoying like that. It misses little tiny bits because you're not really on it. And then it will sink down again because you are on it. It's a little bit annoying. But it is what it is. It is. It's Yeah, I mean, to be honest, if it weren't for this tractor, because of the um, crop destruction plus, we would be in a bit of a mess. Because we'd be destroying the, the grass, which is a consequence I didn't really even know about, really. So, yeah, let me crack on where I was because I can't concentrate and work at the same time as you probably all know. <laughs> terrible <laughs> and I say all sorts of weird and wonderful things because I've not quite got it right yes yeah, so let's stick those back on our land now our land goes all the way really as we saw up to that point there so we're going to stick one at the back which is what I did last time because obviously we've been missing out on this generation but with these beautiful little things from Bernie for the last couple of months <laughs> We'll stick them both here this time. I'll stick the other one somewhere else. So, yeah, there we go. So, they're back. And there's nothing we can do about it. Ah, I've actually done that wrong. Yeah, so basically we got all the way to November. And I made what I class as a pivotal... It's quite funny on some Let's Plays. You make some... What I class as pivotal... Um, Sometimes if you go back to a certain point in time, you realise a decision you made was one of the most important you made. And also that sometimes, I've said this before, that the map works with you. You get sort of a look or a good call. It's not just reliant upon, it's reliant on a number of factors. Now, I've gone back and that factor, uh, be careful, that factor might not happen again. So that means we were, yeah, uh, no, I won't do it because it's going to spoil it. I'm hoping we're going to work towards the same end, but I'm not ooh, I'm not 100% sure that what happened before is going to happen now. And we've at least done that. The one good thing is you, the sales are completely different each and every morning. So what I saw on September morning and October morning were completely different to what we will see reminds me what is there in the sales now it was that indeed I remember now yeah the ones that are actually true now they are still right they are right so we need to grab this going we'll grab the windrow in a minute with the little one now this should I think still have the 6.5 meter course I think feels yeah you can even see you can sort of guess when you look at six what I was actually doing but <laughs> <laughs> that gives the game away totally. That's the trouble with course play. Yeah, I really can't do anything about that. But yeah, we got so far that we'd even got that sort of sorted. So yeah, 
yeah basically we bought the, the sunflower fields uh, which I'm not really sure now that we're going to get that because it I've done this in um, Rombos uh, Mark 2 when we did that let's play uh, what happened the first time or even the amounts that you earn are comp have you finished ah I started you in the wrong place didn't I right okay Right, let's yeah, let's get this done, and then we'll get this windrowing, and then we'll follow with the baler, basically. Yeah, I really did want to talk to you without unhindered with work because you can't concentrate properly, and that's when you make mistakes. So yeah, that, that's the crux of it, really. Uh, and, but I, I, I was going to just crack on and just tell you about what happened, and I thought. I don't know, it's just such a biggie. It's It was one of those decisions that I made that I really was quite proud of um, because it had, well, yeah, I recognised the opportunity that we'd got and I grabbed it with both hands. So I'm hoping that things actually go the same way. Oh, now that is, yeah, different elevations. It's quite amazing how you can just a tiny little bit and then all of a sudden you can't know a certain area. Oh wow, we missed two sets actually. Yeah, the same problem with this actually, talking about rumbles, that was one of the places where we actually had this very tractor. But I've got to be honest, without this, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing now because we'd be bruising the... I mean, I do think, if I remember rightly, because we would be leading with this mower, but the big fen is a lot wider, so its front wheels would be bruising the grass as we were actually doing this. So, yeah, it's, it has schooled me, really, because I really didn't realise that crop destruction plus would do that, even though technically this is crop. I never thought of grass, although I know it used to happen in old iterations of FS. I've never seen it in FS22, so it really did catch me by on the hop, really. So, yeah, I'm, uh, it's now made me sort of think of this differently. And I'm, I'm wondering, is it a map-based thing? I've never seen it on others, but then I'm not sure that... Wow, it really, it, it so alters how powerful a tractor is. I can hardly move. It's terrible. I mean, we're lucky this has got narrows, really. But again, I, I do concur that really, I like the challenge of that. That's really what makes me think. It's why, why I love Start From Scratch. It's setting yourself a challenge even unforeseen ones like that and how do you react that's what i love about this the mechanics can and new mods can do things that you never dreamt that they could do and it is true it really did i'm not a very good one to, to know i like to know what i'm dealing with i've got a very strange personality like that uh, and i can manipulate the elements that i know about but when something like that it does poleaxe me a bit a, a bit like when mods go wrong i've said this it's a flaw of my character um, that yeah, I literally I sort of run away in a way, and it's not good. I'm getting better. I am. I, I'm facing my demons, even the demons of my own character. I'm trying to face, and I think this it does improve you somewhat. But yeah, you still are who you are in, in, in essence. So, but yeah, this is uh, quite quite interesting. But an, oh, here's a skip in the odd little bit. Yeah, the front is not quite right. You've got to get it just gliding above so that it yeah the, and the, of course there are bumps in the field and then of course it, it goes over that little particular section so it's not as easy as as you sort of think but we're going to do our best yeah i can't get that little bit on the right either because it it goes up a lump to that particular bit so i don't we're going to miss a little bit we're going to have to come back round just to finish this off Yeah, it's, well, all mowers are the same, really. If you're actually turning where the grass is, you're going to miss the bit you're turning at. And it really is struggling. Yeah, so we've done so much, really. I'm trying to think, did we do... What? Yeah, and this is the hill. That's not because I'm dragging on the grass or anything. It really is just because these narrows have got so little traction. It's once you've sort of gone the level bit as you're going down across the field, then you're okay. stick these up here including and I, I think you've got to drop this in two I remember when I used to use this on rumbas if you drop it with the adapter on you can't always grab it right the adapter makes it a funny shape so what you really have to do wow right we all, yeah we need to be getting this on the windrow in fact we can actually leave the front on for a bit 
now we can actually lift that as well yes yeah, so I'm a bit peeved in a way because I've got to really do this again and also as I've said it doesn't always happen the same way again what was that I was on I think it was the lost corner and the snow didn't disappear on March morning and then it went wrong and ooh, let's drop that one down first and then oh what was on it was on it and then we need to drop that one down there now we yeah we are going to need it next without this yeah you've got to be careful this is another tool have an awful lot of respect for the adapter it is a beautiful thing it really is right let's get this on the 6.5 meter That I could not escape from that that actual screen. That's because I didn't have a tool on. Yeah, it sort of rebelled. <laughs> it's like saying, "What are you trying to do? Why are you trying to get a load of course? You haven't got the 6.5 meter implements on. It would do that." Did I grab that? Oh, no, I did. Yeah, fantastic. Now I'm going to do this first little bit because, again, it does not... Yeah, I've got to do something permanent with this. It's odd. Right. Yeah, you, this little bit, I've, it's going to annoy me forever until we fix it. But then again, we're not supposed to be staying in those grass fields forever really. I'm hoping to escape from this. I really did at this point, but, and again, the the two generators threw me out a little bit because I was expecting a little bit and they aren't brilliant so I didn't want this to be about a generator winning the game for me or yet yeah, because otherwise what what is the challenge that I'm talking about if actually something else wins the game for you and not your own efforts I do like to have them um, as a an assistant but only a little bit the the Lords is really only like for the six months because it's a cracking generator it's all to give you a bit of a fighting chance Right, I believe we can probably leave this where it is now. Now let's go grab the the, the fence. In fact, do we, I think we'll do it ourselves. I'm going to go... Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to let this do it because I want to just chat with you for a few minutes uh, just to sort of catch... I think that's it, actually. I do. I don't think I need to catch you up. I think we're pretty much caught up. Really, the bottom line is that I've rolled it back. Um, I'm going to show you a few seconds of what happened. I did actually say, I said, oh, I'm gonna have a look at the log file whilst the worker is doing his job or her job. And I did exactly do, I did exactly do that. Unfortunately, although it's weird, I don't wanna to get too technical, like, because obviously when you're doing the recordings, you, in OBS, you do what they call scenes. Now, the other day when I did my um, recording, I wanted to show the desktop. I wanted to show you um, the desktop to go from the desktop to um, Farm Simulator. Now normally I have Farm Simulator to keep the focus all of the time. So if I went to the desktop you'd not see all you'd ever hear and I've mentioned this a few times is you'll hear the sounds go on the game basically. You'll, it, you'll hear the sound go for a second. That's when I'm checking that the recording's okay, that I'm actually recording. I, I used to do it at the beginning of the session. Sometimes in the middle if I stop the recording and then start it again for whatever reason a phone call in real life or whatever then I'll do that so let's leave this going and yeah fantastic Ooh, someone's blocked by an object it will be right next to us I would say it is straight over there again seriously yeah I'll be glad when we've uh, sorted this out one way or another where we're not cutting the grass or yeah, because it is very, very annoying. Yeah, we'll uh, just manually do this bit. It doesn't help with having to have... Well, we don't have to... But you'd be forever swapping the wheels. I, 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 we need this almost on narrows so often that it's just not worth keep mucking around with swapping the wheels over all the time because I'm, I'm forever wanting this to be on narrows as long as we're doing the... Now there is one thing I am going to do, <laughs> which was very useful actually. 
which is yeah going forward we did something rather special we are ordering a part from the shop we did this earlier and it made such a difference to rolling bales so we're going to do it again but this time it's this one thing we're going to learn in advance <laughs> yeah we are not waiting to have this we are wanting with bail on end turner absolutely because it made all the difference for this kind of field so yeah that's going back on then there's two thousand pounds euros very well spent because it will now no longer roll them down the field so i think we actually have got a um one on yeah let's just set this going in nearest yeah, now it should do that and put them flat so there'll be no more rolling down on the other people's fields which was driving me crazy so yeah, i wish i'd have done it earlier but yes so we're hoping to buy the sunflower field basically and yeah what did we let's just whilst the worker is working let's oh have we seriously oh no actually that was me wasn't it? no no it wasn't it's because the yeah the bale has uh got in the way yeah right Ooh. yeah we should be roughly about here actually but we've got to be in the right place let's try nearest it's typical every single time you want to chat to you, <laughs> to you guys and girls the workers misbehave themselves like trying to get your attention all the time it's so annoying yeah, let's have a quick look and see if we can actually have a look at the um, productions to see if I've done everything I need to do. Air silage is going. Now the digestate was storing. That's what we need to change. You know, we need to do that to distribute it. And we need to stick that on. Now the one very poor thing is on this map, the, uh, the fertilizer has got a terrible, terrible price. So, oh, seriously? What? Yeah, it's the first couple of rows. It really is why. Yeah, do you know something? Let's just get past this first couple and then everything's going to be all right. Yeah, I mean, we are going to. We're not going to be doing grass forever on this, and I'm very glad because th this has caused such a lot of issues. The fact that the. Well, it's because the field's hilly. It's as simple as that. It is what it is. Ooh. For saying this as a. Powerful uh, tractor, seriously. I can't remember what horsepower this is at the mini. I think it's 300 odd horsepower. I would not expect this to floor it, really, but it is. Okay. We'll do the cleanup in a minute. Yes, now then, where were we? Yeah, we were looking at that. Let me show you. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to stick a cell point. I've already done this, as in I've looked where we're going to go. And there aren't many places to actually stick this. So we decided on... Actually, we could stick it down there. Or we could stick it down there. Because it's not that we're going to manually run to it either. It really is that. Although I would like it believable, really. Now, that's not a bad place and it's not that I don't want it like on our doorstep but because this is a map selling point but we are paying for ourselves even though technically oh wow that's a little bit I've never seen that where it it's a bit on level things are usually as uh, solid as a rock on a map Wow. Right, okay, we'll have to leave that. It's not, that's not doing what it normally does. Right, so then, yes, we, that's going to, right, let me show you. Yeah, now that it also makes sure it has the, no, the window is still going, that is fantastic. Yeah, if you look at the prices on this map, you can get cheap fertilizer, which means you can also, you, you're, it mucks around, yeah, productions work in this way. It does an average of the fertilizer costs so on this map it has got 385 buying which is going to no lower the amount so what we've done now by putting sell everything and we've got it's four four actual sell points and one low one 
so that means it's going to like quarter it's going to do an average so we've raised the average a little bit which is not cheating it's using uh, literally uh, mechanics to your benefit but i am not cheating and i'm not sticking another one to make it bad it is oh i think i think actually that's pretty much done right let, let's take over yeah so we now now that we've done that we're going to stick that on selling now that we need to stick this on turn on automatic drop we need to get out of the way yeah so now what we need to do is go to selling now that we've done that now that we've um, enhanced all oh, that that one didn't turn for some reason For the reason was we should manually do it ourselves and play football with it. Yeah, so this this is I think the, I did the court obviously. Then we went through the months, uh, but yeah, then we basically um, sold our fertilizer. And obviously, this time I've done it differently. I've done it far earlier than we did last time. Brilliant. We could set this fertilising really, although to be honest, I would say no. It's it is a little bit. It, you can do it, but the weight of it's a little bit. Or well, I don't know actually. I think that particular one's not too bad. We could do the clean up and let the um, the fence crack on, and we could try to do the fertilising ourselves. It's quite, oh, quite a bit down here as well. That I noticed. I did clean this up before. A little bit far out actually, I do apologise. Yeah, so we would be, this is this is a deja vu for me personally. Now then let's leave that bit for all the fence once you do it yourself. We do this right, we just do the cleanup of the corners. We can leave this actually busy doing this. Yeah, it I, I to tell you the actual moments that I recognise. I don't know how you guys and girls work, but Sometimes things are just meant to be, and that's what I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not talking about fate or anything like that. I'm literally talking about sometimes seizing an opportunity that arises and recognising it for what it is and not shilly-shallying around. You've got to do that either in life or in Farming Simulator. Yes, so what happened was, it was 12.47, don't ask me how I remember the time, but it was exact. I was driving literally this way here, down the field, and I saw the sunflowers, I thought, it's November morning. It, surely the AI should have done that by now. We just had a payment from, I think, we've got 101,000. We could have, no, are we going the right way? Yeah, no, we are. This is, I think, the right way. Yeah, and I thought, we could actually, we could buy that field. And I thought, we've got a harvester already. All we need to do is lease a header. And we've got about, after I'd bought the sale of the field, We've got a bit of quite a bit of cash left now. We can leave this here, it's not going to hurt. Oh, no, actually, I'm, again, I'm zoomed it well out. If we, uh, yeah, and these seem to be because of the lay of the land and the horsepower of this. We do really need the, this Deutz, though. I can't forget it, but it really is a little bit. We need something a little bit more powerful well, as soon as possible because it really is slowing, it's making this very, very painful. But without it and its narrows, we wouldn't be able to cut the grass at present whilst we're in grass. Right. Let's leave that there. Yeah, the other thing about that field is it's got quite a few areas at the bottom that we own as well. Let me show you. Oh no, it's not the right. That's not right. The right screen. Yeah, if we look at. Field six, you will notice it's got that tree bit at the end and that bit at the bottom that are all out. Seven, likewise, has got, and it's actually quite flat down at the bottom. You can actually see it from here that it actually sits almost level, so it's perfect for what we are really going to need to do, like productions and things like that. So, that field is, in my personal opinion, the, the best possible field at present. So, we need, yeah, we need to grab. We could leave the adapter and put the weights on. I think that might be a bit of overkill. Oh, are we on the wrong side? Nope. 
Oh, we are actually. Yeah, I can see the yellow PTO. So it's sure we're putting these in long grass. Yeah, I don't think we've done any. Um, no, we've done it all manually so far with this. So I think we can get away with it. And I'm not going to do it until the grass is off the field. I, d I don't do that. I don't mind doing it with the bales because the bales are wrapped. But I don't like doing it. So yeah, we did actually stick the stones in the thing. We need to get a water as well. We do. We need to get some water because we need to stick some water to make the stones go to lime and so far i haven't forgotten it it's just that the money was so tight it still is we've got to buy the field first so it is true i, I really don't mind it, it's just tough ah, i think we've cleared at this end it's just a little oh no there's a bit of bit of manual cleanup to do i can see it up this end as well all right let's get this sorted yeah i know i'm trying to play as realistically as possible and pit myself against the problems that actually farmers have got. Oh, why is that not? Uh, the icon wasn't going down on the actual tractor. It was staying up, even though I was pressing the down key. Right, there's a little bit back there as well. Yeah, I am. You would not. Ooh. Typical, typical, typical. You know, I had, had the pusher on last time, I actually did think about this. And that's what I'm saying, it's just rather strange that, uh, oh wow, that is so, such a, oh, now, now I've knocked it back again. Excellent, oh well, we're like, we, typically, funnily enough, one escape last time. Look at the, look at that. This is a mighty fend. 300 horsepower, floored by a bit of a gradient. If it was a square baler, I don't know, I think I'd probably expect a bit more, just, it just seems a little bit not quite right. Right. But yes, I, uh, it's typical, it's like deja vu. Not quite in the same place, I might add, but yeah, at least things are happening as they did before, I suppose. You could say it's deja vu, literally, as in I'm making the same mistakes as I made before, almost, but not quite in the same place. <laughs> but it is quite hilarious that one escaped last time and one's escaped again. But it is true, yeah, I'd, on um, Rob Boss Mark 2, things didn't happen exactly the same as they did the first time. They can be worse or they can be better or, yeah, I mean, but obviously the biggest thing is the pivotal moment was when I was driving down with the tractor and I thought, ooh, that is a too good an opportunity to miss. I thought if we do, I did a long time ago, I thought we would already have a field by now. I thought by August we'd probably, but we've hit quite a few little minor roadblocks that have uh, knocked me back. And yeah, the, the fact that the, um, well, I didn't do that either. I didn't sort of get the thing to selling. When I did notice, I also noticed that there were problems because, because there was a cheap priced fertilizer sale point the bottom line is that meant that our when we sell fertilizer that equally is affected by that same price which basically means that when we sell fertilizer it also sells cheaply at a quarter of the places it sells at it's all it is all yeah it's the way it works now that's something i worked out very early on in the game when i used to um, do sugar in elm creek there were four or five places that bought sugar and it was an average of all of those four or five places divided by four or five, yeah, divided by four and five and averaged between this thing. And that is what you got. And it worked, it, it worked. I mean, obviously you do the test and you do the maths and it works out and you think, yeah, that's what it is. The one thing I didn't know at that point was I did a video on this a lot a while back because there's a lot of rhetoric from people to say, oh, it's a really high amount that the ta you get tax for the, um, you know selling it direct you don't you get you get a dist a, a transportation cost and it varies it can be as little as two or three percent or as high as seven i've never seen it any higher than that it's like a, a like an almost like a random factor that the game charges you for and i'm quite happy to pay minions to actually or a transport network to do our goods and, and earn us money without us having to manually run across it is of course the power of distribution of uh, um, productions distributions <laughs> the power of productions that is 
That is FS22, really. That is the game, is it not really? So, yeah, it's using that. So then we now need to go. We should now get two things happen. Oh, it really was 6% off. We did that last time. I think there's enough on the field right anyway. Yeah, we need to get this fertilizing lime. Let's get that on first. Yeah, I, I decided it was more apt to, even though I know things don't always work the same every single time, I thought, well, all I've got to show for it, which I say I've left about 10 seconds on the video, which was this particular video. So what I've done is I've rolled the save back to August and we've done this again whereas obviously I've done all this gone right the way through to November and we're going to have to do that again which of course you won't see because I've deleted the footage because all you could see was my desktop not the most interesting <laughs> viewing really so yeah I deleted it and I've kept about 10 seconds where I rigid on this particular session originally uh, went down to the desktop and actually started to tweak the log files to see what was going off when really there wasn't anything going off, all it actually was was the fact that they were the um, two generators are actually not on our land, hence the fact you can't delete them. That, the first time I saw that was with the very building in front of us on Avon Valley. I put that down on land that was partially ours and partially not. And the fact that it wasn't yours meant I couldn't open the it was this had only just dropped that week and so I thought there was a fault with the mod it was no fault at all oh stop 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 yeah there was no fault with the mod at all the fault was basically because it, it, it's got to be on your land and I like that I think that's a very clever way of using mechanics it's enforcing mechanics which I like it's the same as enforcing when you do a contract you can only ever do half of the headland it won't let you do any more than that. Now there are crafty ways, to, if you're using big tools, if you were using your own tools, you've got a big windrower, as long as you only half go on that, you can actually probably get the entire headland. So it's, it's crafty, but obviously, again, you're using mechanics, maybe not quite the way you should, but there's no, I don't think anyone doesn't bend mechanics a little bit to suit their own purposes, I just don't like to cheat with it. Yeah, I like to, I like to try to use it, and I was talking about this in the very bit that we missed, the spirit of the game, yeah, obviously there is a spirit in the game, it's a bit like people talk about the spirit of the law, and now people can use the law in a very bad way, and the law is never meant to be used in such a way, nevertheless, some people will use the law in such a way, now, the games, the game mechanics likewise, you can have Eureka Farms type things where you do that, and there's nothing wrong with it, it's... The game allows it, but I suppose it's a little bit like, you know, no, I don't, I don't to cast it, no, because we're all allowed to play the game exactly how we want. The fact that I'm playing this realistically, it's a game. That's my choice, but it doesn't mean to say those who choose to play this as a game where they can exploit the rules, then they're allowed to do that too. And it's, I, I can't really say anything bad about that, or shouldn't say anything bad about that, because they have an equal rights to myself. Now then, I think we'll leave this here. It makes more sense. Yeah, we will also. Yeah, I've got. I've got to. Oh no, it's not the right button. Yeah, I also grab these uh, bales manually because the the lay of the land is, and again, it's painful. What I was doing and what I am going to do when it does turn, when they actually are done in a couple of months, uh, I'm going to grab them two or three at a time because because of the lay of the land, it's very difficult for me to... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to stick with me on this journey. And as always, as fellow shareholders on the farm, I always love to hear from you. And goodbye. For now.